Hi there, thank you for stopping by my channel today. And if you're new here, welcome. Please consider subscribing. Today, I will be doing an unboxing and a review of the Archangel Animal Oracle Cards by Diana Cooper. This is a 44 card deck published by Hay House. These cards are brand new to the market and they were just released today. On the back here, Diana Cooper states that the archangels work with and direct the animals to offer guidance, hope, and inspiration. All creatures appear at the right time to teach us what we are meant to learn. The front of the box shows a few animals that are in this deck and it has this gold band behind the title Archangel Animal Oracle Cards that's really reflective. It's got the little thumb curves on the side to easily open the box and then right here on top you'll see a message straight away. Open your heart to the archangels and animals and be inspired by their love and guidance. That's a nice message. And right here on top, you will notice the guidebook. Looks like it contains a lot of information. It's pretty thick here. You'll see the title page, the table of contents. It will list the animals in alphabetical order. You'll see an introduction about the cards. How to use your Archangel Animal Oracle cards. This is the traditional three card spread, but Diana also illustrates a seven card spread here. And if you're interested in a video detailing that layout, then comment down below and let me know. And then as you can see, we go straight into the interpretation of the cards, which includes the animal information, as well as the guidance section, which gives a detailed ex explanation of why this card may have presented itself to you. Okay, the back of the card here is this light purple color. It has a group of stars, possibly a constellation. You'll see the seven gold rings that are intertwined. The cardstock feels pretty thick. They look a little clumped together here, so I'm hoping they won't stick. Um, but it does have a durable, glossy finish, it looks like. Okay, now I'll just go through them one by one so you can see each card in this deck. So as you can see, each card has the artwork of the animal and then a brief guidance statement. And then underneath that is the Archangel that correlates with the animal like this one, Archangel Gabriel. Some of the Archangels listed in this deck I was unfamiliar with. 
I will give a more detailed explanation on that at the end of the video. But for example, this one that says Bobkey, I hadn't worked with that Archangel before. From what I see, this has a good selection of animals in this deck so far. I like that they have these smaller pet type animals that are depicted in this deck. They could bring a meaningful connection for someone who owns this type of pet. All the animals look comfortable and happy. There's no harsh animal imagery in this deck. All in all, I'm very excited to clear this deck and to start using it. And I'm eager to see how the animal essence and the archangel wisdom and guidance work together in my readings. Now there you have it, that's all 44 cards in this deck. Now as I stated earlier, um, I did go back in the guidebook to see if she mentioned the archangels that I was unfamiliar with. In the introduction section of the guidebook, Diana Cooper states that those archangels are specific to certain animal species. For example, Archangel Jules oversees the fish. I did notice on Amazon she has a book titled The Archangel Guide to the Animal World, which looks to explain these archangels in more detail. I'll insert a picture here. Thank you so much for stopping by today. And if you are interested in these videos and you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to my channel. Also, like I stated previous, if you would like to see the seven card spread that she shows in the guidebook, I'll leave a comment below and I will post a video on that. Thank you again and I hope to see you again next time.